what's going on guys welcome back today in this video we are going to create our own chat gpt using the open ai's api and discord so as you can see right now i have opened up discord on my screen and what we have to actually do is we have to create a discord application and add a bot a discord bot and then what we can do is we can add that discord bot to our server and whenever we send a message in that server the discord bot is going to pick up that message and send us back the response from the open ai's api so it's going to exactly give us a text like we get on chat gpt but in discord so yeah without wasting any more time let's get right into this video so first thing that you need to do is you need to head over to this uh, web page called discord.com slash developer slash applications once you are on this page you need to uh, create a new application so i'm going to click on this button here and it asks me for a name let's name it ai chatbot all right and i'm going to check these terms and services and click on create but before going any further let's go back to discord you need to have a discord server created i have already created a discord server if you don't have a discord server created you can simply go here where it says add a server and click on it and click on create my own click on for community or club or whatever and then give a name to your server or upload an image and then click on create and your server will be created so it's a pretty simple process let's close it now coming back to our uh, developer page and here uh, we have already given a name to our uh, application and now we are going to go to this section called bot in here we will click on this button saying add bot and click on yes do it here i'm going to name this one uh, peter the chat gpt bot so this is the name i'm going to give to my bot and i'm going to upload an image for it which is this one and after that i'm going to scroll down till i see this thing message content intent and i'm going to toggle it on just like this and let's save the changes after the changes are saved let's go to this section called oauth 2 and in here where it says default authorization link we need to select this custom url and in here we need to paste something you'll find this in the description so what we have to paste is it's called https colon slash slash discord.com slash api slash or2 slash authorized and question mark permissions equals to eight and scope equals to bot and client id equals to this thing so you can see this client information here we need to copy this client id from here and we will paste that right here then select all of the url and copy it and we need to paste it in here and you can see this thing pops up and here we need to add this bot to our server so i'm going to select this ai server since this is the server that i'm going to use and click continue and i'm going to check this administrator and click on authorize click on i am human and it says authorized and if you hear that beep it means that we got a message on our discord and as you can see it's saying glad you are here peter the chat gpt bot so we have successfully added peter to our uh, ai server so now that's done now let's hop into vs code and start creating our script so as you can see right now i'm on visual studio code and the first thing that i'll do is i'll check if node is installed so you can see i have node installed if you don't have node then go ahead and install node and we'll get started so yeah next thing that i want to do is i want to do npm in it to create the package.json file so as you can see package.json file is created here and after that we are going to install two packages so i'm going to say npm i discord.js in order to connect with discord and we also need the dot env so for example you push your code to github or any other places so yeah, you won't expose your api keys and everything so let's install these two packages so as you can see the two packages are installed and next what we need to do is we need to create the env file so i'll say dot env so this is the file that i'm creating and in here we are going to say discord underscore key so this is going to be the discord key that we will get from here if you go to bot and click on this reset token and say yes do it you'll see something like this copy this token and go back to your visual studio code and paste it here just like this so now we have the discord key set up next we will create the index.js file so this is going to be the file uh, that's going to be actually doing all the work for us uh, communicating with discord and the open ai api so yeah let's get started so the first thing we'll require dot env dot config then we need two things from discord that's the client and gateway in intent bits let's require those as well so const client and 
intent gateway intent width equals to require disorder.js. So now we have both of these things. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to create a client that's going to allow us to connect with Discord, send messages, and everything else. So I'll say const client equals to new client. And in here, we need to pass in some intents. So I'll say intents, and it's going to be an array of gateway intent bits. So just type in these values. So gateway intent bits dot gills gateway intent bits dot guild messages gateway intent bits dot message content so now we have our client set up next thing next thing what we want to do is we want to check if a message is being sent to our uh, discord channel then what the bot should do so we can do that by client dot on and pass in message create so whenever a message is sent to our discord channel what's going to happen is whatever we uh, describe in the following code block so this is the this is saying that if message is created then do the following we are going to pass in the callback function which is going to be an asynchronous function and takes in message as an argument and inside here we are going to create a try catch block so whatever uh, we describe in this try block will be executed when a message is sent so let's begin by console logging the message simply to the console so i'll say console dot log and as you can see we have this uh, message thing here we can get access to message dot content so whatever message is being sent we can get access to that using this message dot content and if we have any errors we are also going to console log the error and finally we are going to say client dot login process dot env dot discord e. so yeah this is what we have in our env yeah let's save everything and come back here and say node dot dash dot slash index dot js and nothing really ha is happening here that means our discord bot is online so let's go back to our channel and let's message something hello bot and as you can see in the console it says hello bot so yeah it's working so whatever message we sent through the discord bot is being picked up by our script and it's console logging it so yeah the first part of our video is done we have successfully created our discord bot uh, the final goal of this video is to create a chat gpt like application so so you need to go to this open beta.openai.com and click on this personal and click on view api keys and in here if you don't have any uh, api key generated yet you can click on this create new uh, secret key and copy that key and we also need to go to settings and copy this organizational id so just copy this thing from here and then go back to your env file and then paste the api key here and organize key here then save the env file and come back to index.js so yeah let's stop our script and what i want to do now is i also want to npm install open ai so that we'll be able to work with open ai after it's installed what we need to do is we need to set up the open ai first so let's go here and say setting up open ai and what we need to do is we first need to require a few things from OpenAI. So I'm going to say const configuration, comma, OpenAI API. After that, we need to define a const named configuration. And we are going to create a new OpenAI configuration. We need to pass in an object like this, organization equals to process dot env remember we have that in our env file dot open ai underscore org so this is what we named in there and then we need to pass an api key just like this process dot env dot open ai key so this should set up the configuration for open ai for us and uh, then we need to do one important thing here we need to say message we need to say if message dot author dot bot so we need to check if the author of the message is bot in that case we are simply going to return it because if we don't check this then uh, if we send a message then bot sends back some message uh, we are going to run into an infinite loop so we don't want that to happen in order for that to stop we are returning if the message is from bot but if it's the message is from us then we want to process that message so now let's go back to open ai 
and in here go to examples and let's select anything okay let's let's see a friendly chat let's just go back here and select node.js and we can simply copy this thing from here and go back to our index.js let's get rid of this console log message and we'll paste that thing just out here so yeah yeah let's do one thing let's get rid of all of this thing all right and uh, let's get rid of this thing as well and let's make it a template string instead and uh, in prompt we need to uh, paste this thing so create a template string like this and inside here i'm saying hey give me a response for this then colon then dollar sign uh, i'm getting the content of the message so i'm appending this thing to the content of the message just to let know the chat gpt what we want so yeah i'm also going to get rid of this stop and uh, after that we can say uh, this time we are not going to console log we want to reply back so in that case we can simply use message dot replies so this line of code will allow us to reply back to the user so i'm going to create a template string again and then say response dot data dot choices zero dot text so this should give us back the response that we get back from the open ai api so yeah i think this is it we have done everything so what we have done here is let me explain it to you so I, i'm saying client dot on message create so whenever we send a message via our uh, discord channel uh, then this thing should happen so we are saying message dot author dot bot so if the author of the message is bot then just simply return don't do anything but if it's not bot then you have to do all of this stuff so this is all from open ai so this is uh the prompt is here so whatever we want to get back from the api that's being fed to the api here where we are saying message.content and these are the values that uh, i took it took from the example on the api itself and finally i'm saying message or reply and giving back the user what uh, the open ai api responded back with so let's save it it should work let's run the server again let's go back to discord so peter should respond back this time let's say 10 video ideas okay did we do something wrong yeah i think we are getting an error reference error open ai is not defined so okay i forgot the most important part of this video which is uh, initializing the open ai so open ai equals new open ai api and pass in the configuration that I created so let's save it and let's rerun the server go back to our discord channel and let's give it a same message 10 video ideas okay as you can see peter responded back to us with seven okay that's fair seven video ideas how to make simple dish diy home decor project behind the scenes of local business this is amazing so let's say mm, correct the the grammar of this text i want to eat a tea okay let's see i want to drink tea so as you can see it's working perfectly and uh give give me code to connect with discord in node let's see if it works okay okay yeah we are getting some code back as well but uh, i believe that uh, yeah there, there are more configurations and settings that you can look into and uh, make this bot a bit better and smarter so yeah this was something that will get you started with it i hope you really uh, learned something new from this video i hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you did then give this video a thumbs up i'll see you in the next one until then peace out